Nigeria's Ministry of State for Health, Osajie Ehanire, has promised the federal government support to the Corporate Alliance of uh, Malaria in Africa. The minister was speaking at a forum that focused on investing in malaria to reduce it to zero level. Other corporate partners hopped on the need to do more to roll back malaria in Nigeria. The Global Business Coalition for Health and other corporate bodies believe that the eradication of malaria will also lead to economic growth. Well, the federal government is first of all working on the primary health care system to build up the national health system. And uh, part of it is uh, based on the National Health Act and the Basic Health Care Provision Fund, which is to facilitate uh, setting up uh, health care down to the grassroots and uh, exploring, uh, as usual, uh, all methods of research with our research centers to find new ways of doing things. So if you're trying to we find out that um, there is a need for us to step up to fight against malaria. There is a need for the private sector to take charge and there is a need for Africans to take charge of the issues that are facing Africa and um, therefore um, a group of private sector organizations together under the umbrella of the Corporate Alliance of Malaria in Africa um, came together to um, work together to leverage private sector resources to help eliminate malaria. In so we heard many of the statistics earlier today about the, the percentages of malaria within the country, within the community, and within the workforce. So in reality, malaria becomes a business issue and a business cost. So it's, it is a business driver, it is a business interest for companies to invest in malaria because through investment they are improving or, or decreasing the absenteeism within their workforce, which then translates into productivity, which in the long term translates into economic growth.